Hello, and welcome to another fantastic video. Today we want to talk about the top 10 deep and dark web facts you may hear for the first time today. We will take you on a journey into the depths of the internet's hidden content. The internet is actually made up of three different layers, the surface web or the clearnet, the deep web and the dark web. So you have to be careful or you may drown. Number 10. Starting with the surface, you only 10% of the clearnet. You've probably never heard of such a word before, but the clearnet refers to the face of the internet that you use and see on a daily basis, which is visible to the public without any restrictions. Like Google or Yahoo. You may assume that the majority of online information is searchable via Google, but believe it or not, clearnet accounts for just around 10% of internet space and that's what most of us only know about. Number 9. Is the deep web dangerous? The deep web is just like it sounds, below the surface and not completely dark. The deep web is about 90% of the whole internet. It exists as a result of search engines failure to index all internet information. It is the portion of the internet that is hidden and not shown to conventional search engines. Every day, 30,000 websites are hacked on the deep web. The Tor browser is the most secure way to access the dark and deep webs. The biggest misunderstanding comes when individuals refer to the deep web as a location for all types of criminal activity related websites. Even while the deep web may be a haven for criminals, it also offers a good side. In fact, just because a website is on the deep web doesn't mean it's illegal. The deep web is a pretty safe place, especially when you compare it with the dark web. However, the dark web websites are often associated with illegal activity, but not all of them. Number 8. Can you easily find the dark web? First of all, we must explain that the dark web is a small section of the deep web, about 0.1%, that is concealed and cannot be accessed with normal browsers such as Chrome, Safari, or Firefox. The dark web has harmless activities as well as criminal ones, so it operates with a high level of anonymity. To go into the dark web, you must use applications like Tor, which are competent to connect to the structure of darknets that are part of the dark web. Since much of the information in the dark web is concealed purposefully and difficult to follow, it is exceedingly unusual to locate websites with illicit content. Number 7. So what can you encounter on the dark web? You may find complex riddles or even forums for people who believe free speech is threatened. However, the dark web is known for its dark content, ranging from illegal to disturbing. The dark web is a hotbed for criminal activity. Passwords, physical addresses, bank account numbers, and social security numbers circulate in the dark web all the time. You may already be aware that malicious actors can use these to harm your credit, engage in financial theft, and breach of your other online accounts. In addition, illegal weapons can be purchased on the darknet. While it is still, sadly, allowed to acquire a machine gun in person, it is simpler to do so on the dark web. Furthermore, automatic firearms aren't the only dangerous weapons available on the dark web. Those who want to buy bazookas can do so. Do you feel safe? Also, your identity can be stolen on the darknet. In the United States in 2014, 17.6 million people were victims of identity theft. That is why you constantly see advertisements for anti-identity theft software. It's also one of the troubling aspects of the dark web. Your personal information, such as credit card or banking information may be readily purchased and sold to anyone who wants it and the people responsible are unlikely to be caught. People can buy hitmen there. Of course, someone who wants to order a hit may do so in person. But the impersonal and anonymous features of purchasing a hitman online are handier. On the dark web, you may pay someone to commit murder, fraud, or nearly any other crime conceivable. If you aren't careful with what you access then don't enter the dark web. You may easily fall victim to hackers and give away personal information without intention. Or, you could stumble on illegal activity without even realizing it. Number 6. How to cook people. There are forums that talk about how best to cook people. The most alarming site we discovered was a detailed guide on cooking women. We're not talking about a quick joke here. This website contained information on what body kinds to use for certain cuts, how to make these cuts, and how to cook the girl so she survives as long as possible. Number 5. Have you heard of the dark web secret red room? They are said to be the darkest parts of the internet, where users pay thousands of dollars to watch live rapes and murders. Their name is believed to be derived from the 1983 horror film Videodrome, in which torture is broadcast live on television in a red-painted room. 
It's also been claimed that the term came from red rum, which spells murder backwards. Tor, the specialized web browser required to access the dark web, was unable to run the rooms because it is too sluggish to handle live streamed video. Other secret browsers would struggle to host the broadcasts as well, since their web traffic is passed via several servers. For years, urban tales about red chambers have persisted, but no proof of their existence has arisen. Number 4. Cheap Swatting Service Swatting is the act of acquiring a victim's IP address and then anonymously and mistakenly reporting an urgent event such as a bomb threat or hostage crisis to that location. The SWAT group then comes on site, kicks down a couple doors, and basically interrupts everyone's day while costing taxpayers thousands of dollars. Swatting is also a service you can buy on the deep web through cheap swatting service. CSS offers three priced options for the customer. $5, a mild situation. $10, a bit worse. They'll come to numerous people and raid them. $20, the SWAT group arrives and from then they can do anything. Number 3. The Human Experiment The Human Experiment is a famous website documenting the unethical experiments of an anonymous group of physicians and medical students trying to show, as their slogan implies, that not all people are equal because some of them were born superior to others. In this website, they try to illustrate various studies performed by the group on human beings. The individuals selected for this range of studies performed by the group on humans are typically homeless people who are unregistered citizens. Experimentations range from middle dot starvation to water restriction. The bodies of the dead are dissected and then disposed of in dumpsters of meat shops where their bodies will not be found. Number 2. Sad Satan. Sad Satan isn't popular for being a game, it's known for the story behind the game. It's a horror game made using the terror engine. The game may be discovered on the deep web and has caught the interest of many horror game fans. Furthermore, the music in the game largely relies on recordings of different murders. The game includes images of child abuse and jump scares. Some versions of the game are simply dangerous to play since they corrupt your computer and include illegal content. The game is filled with computer infections, with symptoms ranging from sluggish performance to keylogger installations to permanent, irreversible shutdown. Some customers reported that their PCs were slow, while others said that their computers became completely unresponsive when trying to run the game. A Redditor decrypted notes hidden throughout the game, and it's being claimed that the game threatens you and your life as you go further and deeper into Sad Satan's gloomy chamber. The primary theme of the game is that its graphics and music are distorted and purposefully intended to make you physically ill. It's frighteningly effective. The title Sad Satan refers to an iconic inverted line in Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. The game itself isn't even a game. If anything, it's an experience. With a name like that, are you even slightly surprised? Number 1. The Rising Tide Between COVID-19 and Scams There was an upsurge in fraud and hacking during the peak of quarantine and COVID-19 events. During work from home, most schools and businesses communicate daily through Zoom, a video conferencing software. An investigation revealed that over 500,000 Zoom accounts were being sold on the dark web for a small fee. This resulted in an influx of hacking into restricted and protected Zoom meetings, giving rise to the new term Zoom bombing. Several university students have reported Zoom bombers hacking into their classes numerous times. The most concerning hack occurred when a man appeared in the Zoom class wearing a gas mask and using the first, middle, and last name of a student who had already been reported missing that day. On the surface, these Zoom bombings seem to be rather harmless, be it it is important to note that the data used to hack into a secure Zoom conference was purchased, implying that this college student unknowingly had sensitive information for sale on the dark web. It was a pretty long journey. Right? Now let's go back to the surface of the ocean. Take a deep breath and calm down. Then tell us in the comments which one scared you the most. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more tentastic videos, hit the like button if you like this video and share with your friends. See you!